Let's make some Jordanian mensa. It's Jordan's national dish, and you have to give it a try. This is what is called jamid. Jamid is an ancient way of dehydrating yogurt, so they could preserve it for years in the desert. If you soak these yogurt rocks in water and blend them, you get this, your jamid soup starter. In a large pot, I have washed bone-in lamb, and I'm gonna submerge the lamb with some yogurt drink. This is called leban Iran. So one of my best friends is Jordanian, and his mom makes some killer authentic mensa. This is from her playbook, so I don't wanna hear nothing. To this, I'm gonna add the jamid soup starter, and then we're gonna put this on a high heat, and as we constantly we want to bring this up to a nice bubble. If you don't constantly mix, it will separate the yogurt. After several minutes of mixing and making sure nothing is sticking, it's almost up to temperature of a boil. Just drop the heat to a medium low and just let this lightly bubble for a couple hours until the meats fall off the bone. In the meantime, start with ghee in a large pot, toss in washed jasmine rice, salt, then toast it for a couple minutes, submerge with water and cook like any other rice. And to really excite our bloodstream, we're going to toast pine nuts and some ghee. As soon as they turn golden, pull them off so they don't burn. The meat took me about three hours and you know it's done when it falls apart like my life. On the biggest tray you could find in your house, lay out your maru'ut bread, fluff out your jasmine rice, gently lay down your beautiful meat, and finally, we're gonna finish with the parsley and pine nuts. And as always, na bismillah. That is insane. I love this dish so much.